A launch event had been organized by Lamborghini a few months ago at Palm Beach regarding the launch of Lamborghini's latest car, the Huracan Evo rear wheel drive. The event was not too large because of this pandemic going on. But do you think Lamborghini will launch their car with just a small event? Nah, they got bigger plans. And that's why on the 7th of May, the Huracan Evo rear wheel drive was launched in augmented reality or simply abbreviated as AR. Yeah, this was the first time a manufacturer has launched the car in augmented reality. This didn't only give Lamborghini a lot of attention, but it also showed the world that Lamborghini is going to launch their cars in a grand way, whatever it takes. Now, rear wheel drive cars are probably the best if you want to have some serious fun. And Lamborghini had the same. And thus, they launched the Huracan Evo rear wheel drive, the most fun to drive modern day Lamborghini. Now the question arises that why did Lamborghini had to launch a rear wheel drive car? They already have all wheel drive monsters such as the Aventador and other Huracan models. Then why a rear wheel drive? You see, the thing is rear wheel drive is more engaging to drive. Yes, it is. If not driven properly, then rear wheel drive can also become coffin on wheels and thus Lamborghini wanted their customers to experience something different, something more fun. So what better way than in a car with a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 in the rear? You see, it's been a long time since Lamborghini came up with a rear wheel drive supercar. The V12 Lamborghinis in the modern era have always been all wheel drive and only a few V10s have been rear wheel drive. The last rear wheel drive Lamborghini that came out was the Lamborghini Gallardo LP552 and the limited edition Valentino Balboni. Now, after more than 10 years, Lamborghini set out to bring the wilderness back and here they are with the Huracan Evo rear wheel drive. You know the best thing about this car? It's totally driver centric. And in this day and age, not many manufacturers are making car driver centric. So how is the Huracan more engaging than other Lamborghinis? Well, it's lighter. It's significantly lighter to bring an even wider smile on your face when you drive the car. The 600 bhp V10 rocket will take you from 0 to heaven in just 3.3 seconds. Sure, it's not as fast as the Huracan Performante, but the thing is that it isn't trying to be like its all-wheel drive brother. It's trying to create an identity of its own, and I have to say it, it does that perfectly. The design of the car remains mostly unrevised compared to the old Huracan. The exhaust placement has surely been derived from the Performante to improve the aerodynamics. The previous Huracan models, even the Performante, did two things when you were approaching a corner. They would either understeer into the bushes or head straight into the corner. The Evo rear wheel drive is a bit different. Since all the power is being delivered through the rear wheels, the Evo rear wheel drive slides sideways and along its rear, flicks its tail and attacks the corner fearlessly. It's a different animal. The car comes standard with steel brake, not carbon ceramic. It's not a bad thing because the steel brakes have a strong bite to them and they are probably the only thing that could put a leash to the 600 bhp beast. Also, steel brakes wear out less and usually last longer than your carbon ceramics, so it's kind of pocket friendly too. The Huracan Evo rear wheel drive is a car that's made for the present generations while keeping maintain the legendary legacy of the previous Italian bulls that have stepped into the arena. Few cars still offer you a naturally aspirated engine. Buy them while you still can cause this car might be one of the very last of its kind. So that's it for this time guys. Do tell your views regarding the Huracan Evo rear wheel drive in the comments below. Also, check out our podcast Shift with Motor Drift for some fun filled conversations regarding cars. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Motor Drift if you want to watch more such content in the future. Till then, ciao.